Hi. Welcome to Dead Space 3 Chapter 8. Uh, there are a number of pickups here. The first weapon part is right at the beginning of the level on the left there. There's going to be three of these in total. There's one blueprint, two circuits, two of each log, and I think one artifact, but we'll verify those numbers as we go along. Anyway, the first circuit's here just after you fall. Uh, it's a little further on, so you'll tumble down there and snag the first circuit just by the fire. Uh, fires are good, they keep you warm. There's a video log up here which isn't an audio log. Uh, that confused me for a little bit, but I thought I'd just put it in to clear it up. Uh, then you'll get to this pipeline, and there's a door right by it, so head through the door and into this room. Here you'll find a text log on the table there, that's text log number one. And when you fire up the generator, not only will it make you deliciously warm, uh, you'll also activate an audio log over there, so snag that for audio log number one. Then head out of there and through to the next room, which says Aloha on the door. In there you will find the blueprint, and first of all fire up the generator, then directly behind the generator, or slightly to the left and back, uh, the other side off. There we go. On that table, no, oh, there Isaac, that's it. That's the blueprint for the bowler's gun, and I didn't have enough tungsten to make that. I'm curious about what it might do. Anyway, leave there, carry on for a bit, and you'll head down that cargo lift. Head along here, look to the left, uh, sorry, look to the right, not the left, like I did, and you'll find an upgrade circuit, that's circuit number two on the floor behind you. Now push on through here, you'll get a little cutscene, and when you go through here, you'll find a load of monsters. So carry straight on here, that ladder we're going to go to later, but push on down here, and you'll eventually come to this room here. Go in here and fire up the generator to keep you warm. And in here you'll find a scavenger bot on the floor, there, uh, next to the audio log. So that should be your second scavenger bot. And I realised in the last video I was using them wrong. Uh, but also audio log number two, and then just over there, that flashing dot behind me and to the left, uh, I'll get to it in a second, is text log number two, there. Uh, so, well, as you can see, the number's up top, that's what we're up to. Uh, but once you are nice and warm in here, and this one's a little bit frustrating, you may actually want to come back after you've got the snowsuit, I'm not sure. But head out here, uh, and go back towards that ladder that we saw earlier. It's just coming up here on the... well, there. Climb up there, and dead ahead at the top of the ladder is some ammo. So you can grab that, but then if you turn around and head this way, you'll find the scaff artifact for the level. So that's the scaff artifact out of the way. Then drop down here, drop head back down the ladder and carry on back towards the pipe you came in at and take a left instead of going up the pipe. And around the back here, you'll find a sort of almost a hidden area. Um, it's very much off the beaten path, but if you head in here, uh, you'll find a weapon part and another generator to keep you warm. Uh, but the weapon part is there, it's glowing big and orange, kind of hard to miss. That's it there. So that's weapon part number two. I think just one weapon part to go now. Um, we'll see. I've forgotten, sorry. Anyway, push on through back to the original room that we went to first of all, and through the other side you'll see these three guys charging you. Take them down, but don't forget to loot them, because you'll see here, one of them had quite a lot of tungsten on him. Uh, 18 tungsten, so definitely worth checking them out. Um, go back in, maybe get some warmth, and head out this way. Hug the path to the right, uh, it's not the way that the objective leads. And as you're heading down here, you'll probably have some guys pop out and try and eat your face. Uh, there, there's one. Um, so make sure you've got a shotgun or something similar equipped. I finally built a stasis uh, coating for my projectiles just as I pick one up on the next level. Genius. Anyway, carry on through here to the right through this ravine, and ahead you'll see a crate and weapon part number three. I think this is a compressor or something like that. Watch out for that, dude. Ah, uh, sorry, it's a stasis coating. There it is, yeah, so I just fitted it. Um, anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, if you need Chapter 6, it's there. Uh, there wasn't one for Chapter 7, and Chapter 9 is coming soon. I'll link it as soon as it's up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!